And our next fight of the evening is taking place. I believe these weights are wrong. Pedro Chavez making his way to the PFA ring. This guy fought for us the last time in PFA 3. And I'll tell you what, he has some of the best clinch work and knees I have seen in this ring. And I'm really excited to see how he continues to build off of that game plan here tonight. Interesting. Fighting out of John 14-6 Muay Thai in Tucson, Arizona. And as I said, coming off a decision win last time out. And uh, I'm really excited to see how he continues that success here tonight. Good to see fighters that fought on the last card return again and fight, a, fight another one. Absolutely. A little over three weeks since our last one, so quick turnaround here for Pedro Chavez. Oh, wow. Let's see if he can turn that into another successful win tonight. Jason Ramirez, another fighter who made the trip over from BF Martial Arts in Arlington, Texas, describes his fighting style as Muay Sok coming in with a 2 and one record, and... Again, I think he's going to have his hands full with Pedro here tonight. His teammates coming off of a win earlier. Let's see if this uh, this team can keep the momentum going into this definitely. match. Yeah, that is a thing, man. When your teammates win, it definitely gives you a little bit of juice and confidence. Absolutely. So the interesting thing I see here is uh, the difference in the record. One's 1-0, uh, one and oh, the other one has 2-1. Two and one, So two other fights above them. See if that experience plays out tonight. You know, especially at this amateur level, even one or two fights can make such a big difference in a fighter's development that uh, seeing a record like two and one, even compared to one and zero, oh, is like, okay, you know, he's been through this multiple times. The weight cuts, the walk, you know, so that is a very good note to think about going into this fight. Here is a full Muay Thai bout, meaning we have clinch work, knees, kicks, punches, and elbows. And I am excited for this one here tonight. Case hey, Mason, guys, Pedro with the blue gloves, Jason with the red gloves. Ooh, there you, go. you can see that. Ooh. And you can see Pedro all ready to look from close distance, get that clinch, and start throwing those knees that he is so, so good at. Body lock positioning. Good knees there, already starting off from Pedro. Good. Oh, yeah. good hook there from Pedro Chavez. Good nine there from Jason. And I say early on, both these men were very comfortable in the clinch and the depth of this position. You could see about here tonight, fifth in the Stadium. You see the power difference in the clinch, Pedro and Jason. Oh, and it looks like there is a cut on the head of Pedro Chavez, and it's like a hematoma for him on his forehead as well. Must have been a clash of heads there in the thing. That's, that's Muay Thai. That is Muay Thai. Hey, you may be wearing shin guards and elbow pads, but there will still be some blood tonight, I can tell you what. 
refs are checking Pedro out, making sure this fight can continue. Unfortunate spot there, right at the top of the head, dude. Well, I may not hurt very bad. Oh, oh and the ref has called a stop to this fight. Now, that is unfortunate, because as I was about to say, a cut like that, you know, the blood starts running down in your eyes. Even if you feel fine, it's really hard to continue when you've got that visual impairment from the must have been an elbow or something over the top. I mean, he's got a hematoma and a cut. Yeah. Nasty, nasty cut. Pretty, pretty gnarly there. And, you know, that's got to be disappointing for uh, for Pedro Chavez here. Coming off a win last time. And, you know, you can't really fault him there for that, you know? He was looking good early on. and no, he, he definitely was still looking to fight. Uh, that's the unfortunate thing. It happens, man. That's why we do have refs and do have doctors. So that, yeah. Well, for, for hope, no unnecessary reason, it doesn't continue. All I can say is hope he heals and recovers well, and I'm sure we'll see him back shortly here in the PFA. Definitely. And as we mentioned, success continues for V-Fit House of Champions from Arlington, Texas. Now 2-0 in the evening, and I believe they have a couple more fighters to go tonight. So uh, looking to uh, make it an easy trip back to Texas a couple of wins. And here is Ryan the Harold Holloman with the official decision.